69-year-old man, Emil Rottelbond, recently sued in a Dutch court to legally lower his age by 20 years. Rottelbond reasoned, you can change your name, you can change your gender. Why not your age? He feels his age should match his physique, which he believes appears much younger than 69. Is it possible that we think the same way in America? Make no mistake, some things are real and some things are pretend. Knowing the difference is critically, crucially important. If I told you that I was a 24 year old superwoman, I would be telling you something that is not real even if you saw it on my Instagram profile. Would you encourage me to live out my reality of my social media profile and jump out of buildings while chasing world terrorists? I think we would agree this most assuredly would end in fatal harm. The example I just used is easy to agree with because the physical laws of the universe, like the laws governing age, gravity, motion, or gender, are quite easy for us to discern. But what about the moral laws of the universe? If you, perchance, have swallowed the delusion that these moral laws don't exist, or that you can invent them or pretend them away at your will, or if you think that only the ones that you happen to believe in actually apply to you, then get your cape and let the pretend comic book life begin. Consider the consequences of playing pretend in America. We pretend life in the womb is not a child and have allowed the murder of over 50 million children in America. We pretend societal norms such as marriage and gender classification can be changed based on feelings, not science and natural law, thus making both science and law irrelevant. Now the law schools of our country have tragically produced thousands of attorneys who pretend the true source and nature of law, God and his word, are non-existent and have no legal authority. Many of them are now judges and politicians. These actions on the part of our country indicate that we are no longer conducting ourselves in accordance with reality. It is simply pretend to think that a person or a people can do these things without disastrous consequences. The undeniable basic presupposition of the Declaration of Independence which transcends all cultures and people groups unequivocally, is that we were created by God. Our rights come from Him, and the single duty of government is to protect those God-given rights. In the Declaration of Independence, our founding fathers used the term pretended to describe legislation that does not square with the laws of nature and nature's God. As a result, this legislation has no lawful authority. Founding Father John Adams consented the Bible contains the most profound philosophy, the most perfect morality, and the most refined policy that ever was conceived upon earth. Thankfully, the Dutch court denied the request of Rottelbond and refused to pretend. My prayer is that Americans will see this pretend road leads to chaos and embrace reality. This is Jake McCauley and Donovan McCauley with the Institute on the Constitution bringing you The, the American, American View. view.